Okay, welcome to the video on annuities. In this example, we're going to do a state lottery as an annuity. And guess what? You won. And you won $3 million. But now instead of the state lottery giving you a check for $3 million, like we have right here, instead, they're a little bit, they're smarter, and they do this instead. They give you a check for $8,333.33 over, so this is monthly now, for 30 years. Okay, so again, instead of you getting one big check for $3 million, they give you a monthly check for 30 years. And that's going to be $8,333.33. Because if they gave you a lump sum of $3 million, how much would it cost the lottery? $3 million. But they're smart about this. So instead, they invest money. And that's going to be um, the present value of this annuity. In the end, it's all going to be worth $3 million. But up front, how much are they going to have to put in? How much do they have to invest into some an account? Do they get assurance uh, and an insurance policy that will pay you this amount of money? So then in the end, you'll get your $3,000 or $3 million. Now remember, we have a formula for the present value of an annuity. Now the, the big formula is down here. So we have P, that's the present value. Then you have a bunch of other stuff, their interest rates, the compounding, so compounding because this is monthly, it would be 12. Then we have your uh, monthly payment or how much you're getting, which is the check up above, 1 plus R over N. So again, here's the rest of the formula. Now what we want is this, because this is what the state lottery has to invest in the beginning. So then in the end, you will have your $3 million. Okay. So what do we know? We know the monthly payment, which is $8,333.33. We have an interest rate, which I haven't um, told you, but let's say you know they get an insurance policy or they, they team up with an insurance company and they can get an interest rate of, say, 5%. All right, and this is going to be monthly for 30 years. Okay. So again, let's see how much this is going to be because this is the future value of an annuity right here. How much if I were to pay you or the state lottery pays you $8,333.33 for 30 years, how much is that going to be? Okay, and that's going to equal 6, 9, Three, five, four, eight, five. Again, these are just this is just the middle of a problem. So right now these these numbers are kind of meaningless. All right, and then over here we had our p, and then one plus 0 0.05 over 12 to the 12 times 30. And when you plug that into the calculator, what you're going to get is actually a pretty long decimal. So let me move that over. We're going to get, um, where'd it go? 4.46774.4314. So again, I go out to as many decimals as it allows me. But now I can solve for the present value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by this 4.46 uh, number here. So we're going to get 6935485854 divided by. 4.46774.4314. Okay. And what we're going to get is 1,552,346 and I'll round to 19 cents. So, what does all of this mean? So, the bank pays you $8,333.33 a month for 12 months, for 30 years, and that should come out to $3 million. So again, they did not give you $3 million. So what did they have to pay up front so that every month you can get your $8,333? Well, the bank only needs the $1,552,346 so that when they invest this money with, say, an insurance company, 
um, they'll be able to pay out the $8,000 to you to get $3 million. So what is the $3 million? It is the, I guess we can say that this is the future value, but this is how the um, annuity, well, this is the price of the annuity right here. This is the present value. We can say is the annuity, um, the price of the annuity, I guess you'd say, because this is how much you would need in order to pay out $3 million. So present value. So overall, what this means is that they can advertise a lottery for $3 million, but they only have to pay out one and little over $1.5 million.